Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Real estate is in the news all over the place and it's no different right here on Talk of the Town. Our next guest is Heidi Noble with Restaino and Associates. So it's true the market is picking up, correct? It is, it is. And a big reason for that is, well, they're gonna be calling this the year of the return buyer. And the homeowners now that have been in the houses and wanting to move because the house is too big or too small, now have enough equity. We're, for many families, we're at the 2006 prices, which were at the top of the boom year in real estate. So a lot of those people are wanting to get out there and buy a new home. And also all the people that have been renting a long time and it's not a fit for their family. Right. They also want to get out there. Finally that year to make the plunge mm -hmm. and buy something. So what advice do you have for people, especially those first time home buyers who are like, okay, I want to do this right. I want to get in the right house. What advice do you have? Well, get out there now because everyone's talking as if the interest rates are going to go up a point and that's a lot of money. It might be $200 every mortgage payment, depending on how much you spend on the house. So get out there, find yourself a good buyer agent, find somebody with a good reputation in the community that knows the market and um, that you feel comfortable with. And uh, that's the main thing. And then ask that realtor, who's a good mortgage lender to get? And mm -hmm. get somebody that you can feel comfortable with again so they'll explain things in a way that's really helpful for you. Sure, I mean, setting all of those those things and making sure those important things are all in place is gonna make the whole process just a lot more seamless, I would imagine. I'm sure you've seen some things go horribly wrong with people that you know, don't do their homework on the front end and then end up with somebody who's not as reputable as they said they were. The best thing to do is just sit down with that realtor so that they can find out exactly what you need. You can find out if it's a match, if you're comfortable with them. Mm -hmm. And I give them a lot of um, new apps to put into their phones so that they can research real estate real easily and figure out mortgage payments. And also I just try to be really on top of the market. I'm in the biggest real estate office in Dane County and I've got a very large database. So I hear about homes a lot of times before they even come on the market. Well, there you go. That's key to finding the right house. I know um, Restaino and Associates offer a lot of different services than maybe some other realtors do not. And that's really key to finding the right house. What are some of those different services that you guys offer? Well, this is more on the end with when we list homes, services for the seller are that we'll have a professional video taken and we do that with all of our homes. Okay. We have professional photos done. We have an expansive um, representation on the internet and we use the video and the really great pictures. Most of the homes are staged, uh, making sure that all the descriptions really match the house. Sometimes I'll see someone featuring a wood burning fireplace or a wood burning stove because they really love their wood burning stove but if nobody is looking for that right. that's not something you want to point out sometimes it's a negative yeah absolutely now have we shifted from a buyer's to a seller's market well the important thing here is the the national news all says we're in a seller's market we're low on inventory and it's true there are a lot more buyers than there are sellers okay but real estate is local. You always have to double check any information you get nationally with your local real estate market sure. or with your realtor. And I think the big thing is if you, you know, there are plenty of homes out there that have been on the market since last fall. They're on days or months or whatever. And, um, you know, they need to take a look at some things that they aren't doing right. Maybe right. it's, sometimes it's something as simple as the location code is in wrong put in the system wrong and then their house is virtually invisible oh to the buyers and sellers that want to buy that kind of house. Okay, so just checking those little details. Mm -hmm. Now, I've heard that um, not all homes are selling quickly for a good price. Now, why is that? Well, again, it gets back to maybe the buyers aren't finding it because there's some mistake. Maybe mm -hmm. the presentation isn't right. I still see awful pictures or no pictures on the system. And that's got to be huge. You want to see something visible that's going to attach you exactly. to that house. It costs those sellers a lot of money not to have their house staged and have it looking the very best it can. Um, just some last minute advice, some important services that, um, you know, that you offer. I know you kind of touched on those, but just advice for people who are just starting this journey. Oh, well, it, it should be fun and it should be exciting. And there, even though the inventory isn't what it was last year, it's still very good. There's wonderful properties to buy. You can get a great value. 
do your work. And in Madison, I don't think I need to tell people that. Our buyers are very savvy. They're well-educated and they know the market. They, they get out there, they look at the homes, they listen to good advice and they make great decisions. I like that. Thank you so much for being here, Heidi. That's good advice. Have fun with it. You should yes. be exciting. You're <laughs> buying a new home. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. We have more Talk of the Town coming up right after this break.